Before we can begin with the hands-on, we need to set up the environment. For this, we will need a working AWS account. We need to install Docker in our local machine. Your local machine should have minimum 4 GB of RAM and 120 GB of hard disk. And we'll set up PySpark Jupyter Lab environment in Docker. Now, if you don't have an AWS account, you can go to aws.amazon.com and create a free account. It will give you a 12 months of free services along with some free credits to try out some free services from Amazon. For our sessions, we will leverage the free credits only. There will be no charge on your AWS account. Now, if you don't have a Docker installed on your machine, you can go to docker.com and download the Docker desktop. If you are using Windows or Linux or Mac OS, it is same for everyone. You don't need any prior Docker experience. We will run through the process of the setup. Next, we need to clone this repository with Docker images. We would be using PySpark Jupyter Lab for this tutorial. Once you have downloaded and installed your Docker and started the Docker desktop, you will see the Docker engine color as green. It means your Docker desktop is running. Once you have cloned the Docker images repository from GitHub, we will see folders like this. We will move into PySpark Jupyter Lab and open the command prompt go back to github and copy the first command to build our image we'll wait for this build image to complete once your build image is complete go back to docker desktop to verify the image go to images and then search for your image go back to command prompt to run the second command now Let's go to the git repository, copy the second command, come back to command prompt, run it. We'll have a Docker ID generated. It means your container is created. Go to containers and you can see your container created. Now we can run localhost 8888 to check our Jupyter Lab running. Now, in order to log in, go back to Docker Desktop, click on Jupyter Lab, copy the token from this, go back to Jupyter Server, paste the token, and set up a new password. Click on Login and set new password. We have created the Jupyter Lab environment with PySpark for our tutorial.